So this is an example of a staffing plan. And what it actually includes would be the salary of a number of different types of employees that are, that are present in the firm. There is a principal who makes a salary of $120,000, a project manager of $82,000 a year, production, staff member, technical staff, junior architect, $55,000 a year. And of course, maybe admin or support staff at $41,000 a year. So overall, your staffing salary amount in this case is $298,000 a year. Now, these get filtered through a formula for 2,080 hours per year. Your hourly rate is simply a division of the salary divided by the number of hours per year, which gives you that hourly rate. Now, of course, not all of those staffing hours can be realized. And so the percent charged is essentially about how much time you spend billing out your time to clients. And so the reality is that there might be only for a principal 1,352 hours that can be billed. A production staff member is usually higher level of percent charged, and so maybe 1,872 hours. But your admin staff members are really only billed out for a couple of specialty uses, and so they might only have a couple hundred, a rather low percentage. So then your direct salary expense equals the chargeable hours times your hourly rate. So if you take that previous column that I just spoke about, go back to your hourly rate and you just multiply the two, this is your direct salary expense. So where we had a total of $298,000 for our overall salary, we only have $196,000, $360 for our direct salary expense. And our billable revenue. This is how we calculate how much of our time is billable and what the amount would be. And so when you take your direct salary and multiply it by your staffing multiplier, and in this case, I'm using 3.2 just as a ballpark, a rather conservative estimate, our billable revenue can be upwards of something like $250,000 for the principal, anywhere down to $23,000 for the admin staff. For an overall total of just over $628,000. So then we consider what is our indirect salary. So this is non-chargeable hours times your hourly rate. And so the indirect salary here is $41,000, $20,000, $5,000, $33,000. So in this case, you can see that the admin staff indirect salary is higher. That's a little over $71,000 in indirect salary. So this is non-billable salary expenses.